Hi, we're, uh, we're back with Newsroom Banter. Uh, my name's Eric Peterman. I'm the Opinions Editor at the Sierra Vista Herald Bisbee Daily Review. And I'm uh, with uh, Dana Cole, uh, reporter for the Herald Review. And uh, this morning we've got some breaking news, Dana. Yes, we do. We had a bomb threat call in at uh, CAS, uh, which is Center for Academic Success Charter School in Sierra Vista. And it resulted in this campus closure. Kids were evacuated. Everything went smoothly. Um, police, the Sierra Vista police were there. Everything went well. People were really applauding. Even the parents were thrilled yeah. with how smoothly the evacuation went. So uh, there were also Sierra Vista public school buses there and mm -hmm. city transit buses? Yes. Uh, the. Uh, um, the Sierra Vista School District uh, graciously offered their buses mm -hmm. uh, to help transport port the students to uh, Bella Vista School, which is a nearby school. The students were taken into the multi-purpose room, and parents, uh, you know, were there then to be reunited with their children. Oh, so, so is school closed out for today? The school's closed until bomb-sniffing dogs from uh, Davis Monathan Airport can come in and t and take a look at the campus, and then um, I guess decide that it's it's safe for them to return to school or um, possibly return on uh, Monday so so okay it's so three-day weekend there yeah yeah the kids Snow are day. liking that <laughs> yeah no homework yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> so. exactly so one of the stories that you did this week that I thought was just fascinating was with the murals in in uh, at the Karchner Caverns and uh, these are just three of the total number that he's done is that right yes the artist is uh, Doug Quarles he came to Benson in 2013 and started painting up the town as he called it. He's got over 40 murals in Benson right now and these uh, three new additions at Karchner Caverns are uh, reflections of different historic things that have gone on at the, at the caverns. Um, the uh, discovery of the cavern itself, there are some prehistoric uh, remains there from uh, early horses and then the big big um, display is the night sky uh, mural that um, reflects Karchner's distinction as a night sky park. That's right at the entrance, too. It's right, right? at the entrance. Yeah. It's a large... <laughs> yeah, it's right uh, at the entrance? It's right at the entrance of the park, yes. Yeah, and that's okay. the first thing people see. It's 8 by 10, approximately. It's beautiful. It's mm -hmm. colorful. And the and it's a Great. beautiful reflection of the night skies that we see. Well, in Benson here. now, that, are you saying that's number 40 for him or beyond? Yeah, he's got more than 40 murals in Benson since 2013, and these uh, three additional ones add to that count. So. Well, that's great. That yeah. probably puts Benson on the map. Is a place to go tour? It, it, they're hoping they want to want it to be a mural city at some point. Mm -hmm. um, at least the uh, committee that's working on this project does. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have brochures that uh, they're walking brochures so people can go through the town and see all the different murals. And they all typically reflect uh, historic um so highlights. Yeah, highlights through, yeah, the, through the town. Dana, thank you so much. I really okay. enjoyed this. You're welcome. Great. Come back next week and let's enjoy uh, another round of newsroom banter and mention this and you can get a discount on your Sierra Vista Herald subscription. Thanks again for visiting us.